Um, so my name is Charles Hu Payne. I moved to the United States in 2008, in December, December 8th, I think. It's also on my sister's birthday. First day of school, just sit there in class, did not know a single word of English. Um, and my te first teacher was Ms. Montgomery, and she understand the situation, so she just let me sit in there and just listening to everybody talk and doing their work. And then after school, Ms. Montgomery sit with me and we, she tried to communicate. Um, she really tried to help. Day by day, I get a little bit more in un understanding how English language work. And um, once I got enough um, understanding, start reading books. The first time I touch a book, um, first time I watch TV, it make me want to learn more so I can already understand what I'm looking at. And um, especially my mom, she came here for me to be uh, living a better life. So I think of math as a universal language. <laughs> um, no matter where you go, two plus two is always four. It's just the writing, it might be different, but we can understand each other through the logic behind it. Ms. Sherry Cook, um, I took her for AP Biology, and it was great, and then she got the new position at the Biomedical uh, Project Lead the Way. One day at the donut shop, she drove by and asked me if I wanted to sign up for it, and it was during my um, sophomore year, so, and it's Miss Cook, so I agree, and it just, took it and um, it was interesting because the first day I walk in everything was new. Um, they got the equipment that all you, uh, all you ever need to like test anything that you need. Project Leader way pretty much simulate real life situation. You use your basic skill and then skill implied by your teacher to just solve those problems hands on with tangible stuff to play with. I graduated first in my class so it's somewhat of a requirement to give a speech as well. And I decided to do it because I owe all the teachers that helped me get there. Miss Debbie Montgomery, she's still, um, she helped me move to college actually. <laughs> My first day. It's a pretty big place, Mississippi State. But um, it was a wonderful experience. I meet a lot of new people. Get to into some study buddy because yeah, everybody struggles time to time in classes, and um, it's really helpful to help someone there to help you. I got my uh, U.S. citizenship or certificate of neutralization last summer, and it's wonderful. The process was great. Uh, Miss Montgomery again um, helped me through that process. I took AP U.S. history here, so because that would cover up all the material I ever need to go take that test. Um, I still work at the donut shop on the weekend. That's where I learn, yeah, meet a bunch of people in the community and it's really helped me. However, I have realized something when I wrote this speech. This is home. This is where Mr. Mark Graham go to eat donut and drink coffee, Mr. Cooper. This is where numerous mom and dad rush through the donut shop to buy breakfast for work and for their children before school. Yes, I'm the donut boy for those who was wondering. Um, getting a bachelor degree and with a mind in math actually and, and go work for an aerospace company. Hopefully lucky month. <laughs>